Up with Krim begins now. Right now on Up With Crime, hospitals around the Inland Northwest are pausing non-essential surgeries due to rising COVID cases. Now our Nicole Hernandez is live with what specific hospitals are doing. Yeah, that's right. Both Providence Sacred Heart and MultiCare have said they are pausing their elective surgeries. That's because of the COVID-19 cases and a need for ICU space. Now with the rise of COVID-19 Delta variant cases, state officials are starting to rethink their COVID-19 mask mandate policies. Why Oregon is bringing back their mask policy. And we're taking you outside on this beautiful Wednesday morning, a sunflower field. Do you know where it is in town? Oh, we do. What a gorgeous start to the day. I've got your forecast coming up. Now this is a pretty cool one. The annual Perseid meteor shower will peak starting tonight. Some experts say it's the brightest meteor shower of the year. Oh, I'm just mesmerized. According to NASA, there could be 50 to 100 meteors every hour. Wow. Now the best time to view them is typically after 1 a.m., which is our perfect. time of day. Yeah, that's perfect I'm for us. I'm up around then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, hey there. Glad to have you here on Up With Creme. I'm Tim Pham. And I'm Channing Curtis. Happy Wednesday, everyone. We made it to halfway through the week. We, we did. It's We're here. It's We're here. here. All yes. right. No, but, and, oh, by the way, I'm a meteorologist, Jeremy Legu. Uh, <laughs> yeah. How cool is that? We've got clear skies. Yes. We've got great conditions for getting out and catching some of those shooting stars. And uh, I've got a graphic. I was quickly trying to pull it up, but I, I didn't quite make it. But I'm going to okay. get there. I'm going to get there. That's you okay. know, at 1 a.m. too, it'll probably be nice to maybe step outside of your house and get some of that cooler air yeah. at uh, 1 a.m. So actually, weirdly, tonight, it might not be fresh air. But don't worry, you can get up early and just Yeah, get but up. it'll still be cooler than yeah. it would be if the sun were up. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's definitely true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll yeah, take yeah that. of course, of course. Uh, but we do have a little bit of smoke moving in overnight tonight. Mm -hmm. But today and tomorrow look fine in terms of air quality. There's just a weird window in there overnight where things aren't exactly Perfect. Now everybody's going, Jeremy, get to weather. All right, here we go. We've got <laughs> we've got a little bit of sun coming up early on this morning, and it's uh, one of the many things we are keeping a close eye on. But here we go. Actually, I found it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So early on this morning, a little bit of sun comes up. Right now, air quality remains at moderate. We're in the 50s on the AQI. Not too terribly bad. It means you can breathe it. You can get outside. You can run. You can walk. You can take advantage of our somewhat cooler temperatures. And we are a little bit cooler. Temps in the mid 60s this morning from Moses Lake to Coeur d'Alene. 55 in Sandpoint and 75 in Wenatchee. Right now, an excessive heat warning in place. Highs in the upper 90s to low 100s later on today. It's going to be a scorcher and we've already gotten rid of our clouds and I think we stay pretty cloud free over the course of the next few days. Temperatures on the rise and rising quickly. We're in the mid to upper 90s later on this afternoon. It is a warm one, but as the sun goes down tonight, you'll enjoy those clear skies overhead. We got the Perseid meteor shower. Look off into the distance. Here we go. A lot going on here. Don't worry. I'll walk you through everything you need to know about this graphic coming up in just a bit. Well, this week we learned that Providence Sacred Heart Hospital will pause some non-emergency surgeries due to COVID. But they aren't the only hospital in our area to do so. So Nicole Hernandez is live in Spokane this morning to tell us what changes you might see as those COVID case numbers continue to rise. Good morning, Nicole. Yeah, good morning, guys. So right now I'm live at MultiCare right here behind me. You can see that. And this is another hospital that says that they are also pausing those elective surgeries. So we were, we were able to talk with the spokesperson for the hospital. They say they're doing this because they need more ICU space right now. On top of more COVID-19 hospitalizations, they're also seeing more patients that have put off important visits earlier in the pandemic. They say not all surgeries are being affected by this, and MultiCare will get in touch with you if they're going to delay your specific surgery. If you have any questions, you though should call your physician. Some hospitals in Spokane County and North Idaho are reporting some of the highest numbers of new COVID cases since the pandemic started. Over in North Idaho, Kootenai Health is also postponing some surgeries. They're also tightening visitor restrictions and extending hours at the COVID-19 testing center. So for more information on what you want and what you need to know about Kootenai Health and the hospitals here in Washington State, you can text the word surgery to 509-448-2000. We'll send you a link with everything you need to know. Coming up at six or at, excuse me, at 
8 o'clock, I will, or 7 o'clock, I will also speak about uh, what Sacred Heart is doing about pausing their elective surgeries as well. Live in Spokane, I'm Nicole Hernandez. Well, with many hospitals in our region and around the country pausing non-emergency surgeries due to rising COVID cases, how exactly is the Spokane area faring? Crime 2's Casey Decker looks at Spokane COVID numbers by the numbers. Yeah, well, unfortunately, the data does largely reflect the rhetoric we're hearing right now. Things aren't looking pretty darn bad. Well, to see just how bad, let's go ahead and take a look at the latest data from the Washington State Department of Health. This is all data for Spokane County, and we'll start with the number that everyone goes to first, which is case numbers. And you can see just in the last month, we were going down. Now we are shooting up, and that's pretty scary. It is not anywhere near as scary, of course, as that huge spike we saw last winter. However, it is just as bad, if not worse, as the spike we had in mid-April when we worried about going back in phases and it is worse than the spike we had in the middle of last summer of 2020 when we were almost completely shut down. So cases not looking good right now. It's especially the steepness of this curve. That's pretty concerning. But of course, case numbers aren't really the metric we necessarily care about the most. At the end of the day, a lot of public health experts are really focused on hospitalizations because that's the number that shows us just how sick people are really getting. Let's take a look at that too for Spokane County as well. And here the numbers are shooting up even more, even a scarier curve right here. But the numbers aren't quite as high as that spike we saw earlier in April, nowhere near as high as that big spike last winter. They're about on par, if not a little bit lower in some areas and some higher in some areas compared to last summer. But still, this is not where we want to be right now. We want to see this curve going down and you can see here it is just shooting back up again. So very concerning here with these hospitalizations. Now you might be asking, is there any good news? Well, some depending on how you look at it. Now, obviously we want to get deaths down to zero, but if you take a look at this chart here, you can see we have been making quite a bit of progress. Now, a lot of the deaths happened early on in 2020, the beginning of the pandemic. People didn't really know how to respond to it. And then, of course, a lot of the deaths again in that really, really bad wave last winter. But since then, deaths have gone down and stayed pretty low, including in that April wave and including now in this Delta wave. So that is some good news we're seeing there as well. The deaths pretty low, but it's those hospitalizations that are really killing us right now. That's what public health officials are concerned about. That's why more vaccine mandates are going out. And so right now things are not looking great in Spokane County. In the studio, Casey Decker, Crime 2 News. The time is now 637. It's time for your morning rush. More news in less time. The popular Spokane pizza place, David's Pizza, will now be closed on Sundays. In a Facebook post, they say the closure is only temporary as they face a shortage of workers. They are not the only ones in the Spokane area that have been impacted by a worker shortage. Dick's Hamburgers downtown also announcing they would be closing on Sundays in mid-July. An investigation at Seattle Children's Hospital found racial disparities in employee treatment, patient treatment, and even operations. The disparities were all found at the Odessa Brown Children's Clinic. It provides care to low-income families in Seattle Central District. Now, this investigation revealed Seattle Children's failed to address microaggressions. They also didn't maintain a culture of conflict avoidance with employees. The report also found racial disparities in leadership positions. Seattle Children said it will release timelines and, accountable out and an accountable outcome to the public at a later date. 40,000 people across the state incorrectly received a letter telling them their license plate was transferred to another vehicle. So if you received a notice about a personalized plate and it's dated August 4th, they say you should ignore it. There was a glitch in the Department of Licensing system. Oregon's governor is set to announce a statewide mask mandate today. The state recorded its single largest increase in COVID cases since the start of the pandemic yesterday, and hospitals are filling up. You know, we have about 1.2 million people who are still susceptible. Um, and, you know, if they all got infected at once, which is kind of what we're looking at right now, um, we, do not, we do not have room for the, the share that need the hospital. Hospitalizations are nearing pre-vaccine levels. Similar to Washington, Oregon will also require their state employees to get the vaccine by October 18th. Now that's your morning rush. More news in less time. Let us know what's going on in your neighborhood by using the hashtag up with Krim on social media. A historic vote on Capitol Hill. The Senate approves trillions of dollars on infrastructure. A closer look at how that money could impact our state. And I told you we'd take you outside. So tonight, you need to look off to the north, just straight north, a little above the horizon overnight, early in the morning. That's when you'll see all of those meteors flying through the sky. 
I think your best shot is really tonight, tomorrow. It's gonna be great visibility both. So, hey, why not get out and catch a couple of shooting stars?